Hey, baseball fans, I'm Heidi Watney, and welcome to the show. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Chicago Cubs. <laughs> Stepping in, Starling Marte, and we are ready for some Leading daytime baseball. Arizona, the right fielder, number two, Starling. Marquez. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit in the air to center field. Hap is there and he has it for the first out. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the infielder, Cattell Marte. Marquez. Pulls the string on that one. One strike. Off the plate and in, hits a ball and a strike. Marte, a native of the Dominican Republic, is quite the athlete on the defensive side of the scorecard. Today playing shortstop, but he's actually a center fielder by trade. Yeah, this one's crazy for me. To be a center fielder by trade and be asked to come into the infield, not only into the infield, but at a premium position, it, it screams that he must have touched the position at some point. No manager would ask a player to come from center field into shortstop unless he had the utmost confidence in this guy's defensive skills. On to the bag with it is Rizzo, and the inning is over. Now in the box, Wilson Contreras. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The catcher. Wilson John Perez. pitch on the way line to shortstop and there's one away that so the bases are empty with one man two. gone and that'll bring Ian. up the former first rounder yeah. in Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ just oh, off the outside and it's one and oh And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. 
There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Grounded to the right. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Batting third, the third baseman, Red Bryant. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Hits this one hard the other way. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. The tag, and he is out. And that brings up Javi Baez, runner in scoring position with two gone. Javier Baez. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Good late break to the slider here, but he takes it in on the hands for ball one. hit the other way out toward right field. Marte's after it. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. Second inning set to go and digging in is the veteran DH David Peralta. David Peralta. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Strike called. Tough to do much with that one. Peralta is a guy that thrives in these opposite handed matchups. He's often considered one of the absolute best hitters in the game against right handed pitching. Yeah because he's thinking big part of the field. He's not a dead pole guy. This is a guy that likes to use gap to gap. And when that's happening you stay on anything fading away from you. Martino. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's the big breaking ball and it's by him for a strike. One ball and one strike to the Diamondbacks first baseman. Hit on the ground to third. Bryant is up with it. And quickly there are two away. And that will bring in Yandi Diaz. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First pitch of the at bat. Just a tick behind for a strike. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. And the pitch. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw in time and the side is retired. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. A bouncer to the left side. And that's going to be a base hit for Rizzo. Batting fit. The designated hitter. Victor Caratini. Next to bat will be Victor Caratini. And on the first pitch he grounds foul. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Hit back up the middle. Marte for one. On to first, a double play. Some bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Steven Souza Jr. Junior. First pitch on its way. Bottom of the second here with no score. Hit on the ground toward the left. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired.
In now, Stephen Vogt, 7 8 Keeping 9, the bottom of the order set to go the here in the third. Stephen. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Can't connect there on the breaking ball. One and one. Here's the pitch. And it's one and two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Fouled away. Another 1-2 delivery. Oh. This is on the ground over to first. Rizzo is there. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting it. One gun in the Arizona third, and that'll bring up the versatile center fielder, Manuel Margo. I ah, got him fishing that time, 0 1. I don't mind the aggressiveness right there. He was definitely trying to get the head to a fastball. He pulled the string on that one. He's going to have to stay back a little bit longer. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Line drive to center field. And the Diamondbacks have their first hit of the game. Batting nine, the center fielder, number 16. Tim LeCastro. Into the box, Tim LeCastro. And he puts it on the ground to second. Scooped up. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Here's Starling Marte. So now far, 0 for 1 Point with a flyout. Starling Marte. First pitch on its way. Count 1-0. Soft liner to the right side, but an easy play over at first to glove it, and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in the outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. The left fielder, Kyle. He's ready. Here's the first offering, and it's fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. To two balls and two strikes now. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. LoCastro has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. So stepping in, Nico the Horner. He'll get to take his Nico. first cuts here. Horner. Here it comes. A ball and no strikes. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Again, another foul ball. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Yep, that and that one misses badly. It's ball two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Escobar ranges back and he has it for route number two. 
So bases are empty now here with two Get gone. Through. And Wilson Wilson's Contreras through. digs in at the plate. Contreras. First pitch of the at bat. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. That'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing well, strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. They'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. 1 1 is a sinker in the dirt. Lifted in the air to center field. Half is there, two gone. Stepping into the box, the David the Peralta. He's over one the after grounding out Peralta. in his only trip to the plate so far. Out in front of it, strike one. Here's the pitch. Lifted the other way to left center. Center fielder on the run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. If this offense is going to be this aggressive, I'm going to expect this pitcher and catcher combo to expand the zone. Behind 0 and 2 now. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Here's Chris Bryant the now. Bat. He's 0 for the 1 thus far. Red. Oh, yeah. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Curveball and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. After it is Marte. He gets there and that's the second out. So bases are empty here down. with two gone. Short and into bat next, Javier. the versatile weapon, Javier Baez. Javier. Here's the first pitch to him. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning.
Into the box now, Jose Martinez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First offering on its way. Now here's the pitch. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Here comes Souza. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The third baseman. Number Digging two. in now, Yandy Diaz. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now this is swung on and here's another fly ball out to right field. And that's in there. Base hit. Now batting, catcher, Steven Vogt. Into the box now, Steven Vogt. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Liner toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. Up next for the diamond bat. The left fielder, Manuel. And that'll bring up Manuel Margot. Margo. As he'll take a look at ball one. A base hit in his first trip. Swing and a line drive, but foul. No runs, three hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Schwarber has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. But I don't think he had designs on even really trying it as he retreats with two away now. Center fielder, number 15. Into the box, Tim, Tim LeCastro. LeCastro. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced. A dive by Baez. He beat it out. An outstanding effort that time, but that's a base hit and the run's in to the score. Right field, number two, Starling Marte. Digging in next will be Starling Marte. The swing and hit a pop to the right side of the infield. And that'll get down for a base hit. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Now batting, shortstop, Patel Marte. At the plate, Patel Marte. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Two runs, five hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Nope. And he misses again, 2-0. Two, two ball, no strike. Looking to minimize the damage here. Lifted the other way out to left center. And this looks to be extra bases as a run comes across to score. And he's safe. The batter number five. Second baseman. Eduardo Escobar. So here's Eduardo Escobar. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. And he falls behind now, 2 0. Oh. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone. Oh, and he misses it. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Lead and that off. brings in Four Anthony the Rizzo. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. The batter, number seven, designated hitter, Victor Caratini. So now to the plate, Victor Caratini. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one.
On the ground to second base. This could be two. And he is out on the tag. On to first, and they turn the double play. So bases are empty Don't here like with two gone. And that'll one. bring up the outfielder, Steven Souza Jr. Souza Jr. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Good slider there, gets a swing and miss. To short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And striding Kick forward, the, the designated the hitter, designated David Peralta. Hitter. David Peralta. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Skied into straightaway right. Souza is there, one away. So Up coming to the, the plate, Jose Martinez. The first He's 0 for 2 thus Jose far in this one. Martinez. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And the sixth inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. So striding in, Yandy Diaz. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Reined in. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And next, it'll Leading be the left-handed power Cubs. threat, Kyle Schwarber. The left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. First pitch of the at-bat. Now started to go down after it, and he couldn't oh, hold back. Yeah. It's strike one. A swinging oh, strike, and now it's 0-2. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Into the bleachers and gone! The batter, number two, second baseman, Nico. At the plate now, Nico Horner. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Now that next to hit will be Wilson Jackson. Contreras, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Time asked for and granted by the home plate umpire. First pitch coming, here it is. The wind up and the 0 1. Smoke toward third. Fielded cleanly. And there are two away now. Stepping up now, Ian Happ. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. First delivery to him on the way. 
outside. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2-0 now. You'd never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. There's ball four. Into the box now, Chris Bryant. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Almost, yeah. Matty. Almost went deep as oh, last yeah. AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this AB. Popped him up. Vogt over to his left. And that retires the side. Riding into the box, Stephen Vogt. He's one for two in the ball game. The catcher, Stephen Vogt. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A swing and a ground ball to third. But this is foul for the first strike. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. Now, now at the plate, Manuel Margot. He flew out in his last at-bat. Margot. First pitch of the at-bat. Hit on the ground to third. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. The center fielder, number 16, Tim LeCastro. In now, Tim LeCastro. Now a ball pulled hard, but fouled off to the left. He's one for two in this one. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Margo, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And a good two strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. Pretty standard fastball right there, 0 and 2. Now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something. And they got him. The 1 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. We join for the traditional seven hitting stretch. Last half of the seventh here, and with it Leading comes off. Javi Four Baez the to the plate. Even though Not we're moving top. into the back end Javi of this yeah. game, they're only down by a couple of runs. Oh, yeah. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. First pitch coming, here it is. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Swung on and missed that strike two. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Javier Baez is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Fouled off. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Just a bit late and he's fallen behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Oh and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Digging the in the switch hitter seven. Victor Caratini. Oh for two for him to Victor. this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. High in the air out to center field. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh.
All set for the start of the inning. And coming forward, the veteran Aaron outfielder, Starling right Marte. Right First Starling. delivery to him on the way. Marte. Swing and he pops him up. Here comes Souza, but he won't get there. It falls in. The batter, number four, short job, Cattell Marte. To the plate now, Cattell Marte. Line drive, base hit to right. Throw into second. Throw won't get him. The batter number five, second baseman, Eduardo Escobar. indication from the dugout of an intentional pass and that will load the bases here and set up the force at the plate David Peralta he's set and the pitch hit out towards second he's got it he'll throw home with it they get the force at the plate on to Rizzo at first and they get them both So base is empty now after the double play. And double here comes three. the first baseman, Jose, Jose Martinez. Martinez. Alec Mills trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Number 30, Alec Mills. First offering on its way. Mills. A six foot four inch right hander. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. The 1 0. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders, but now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner, but this is going to get foul. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one, our score. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. Wow, that pitch wasn't even close, and he almost chased it. If I'm the pitcher, I'm going to expand the zone even more on the next one. Swing, and he pops him up. Hayward coming on. He's got it, and they get out of the jam unscathed. Here's Jason Hayward now, and he's getting his first plate Leading appearance off. here in the Warm eighth after entering off the bench the right just field. a little bit ago. Jason Hayward. Albert Elmore will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the Albert. eighth. Alvora. Hit to short. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. 
So one now gun here in the Chicago 8, and that'll Kyle. bring up the left-handed hitting Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber. In the last at-bat, that breaking ball was really up in the zone. Not a good spot for a pitcher to throw the off-speed pitch. If he wants to come back and throw that in this at-bat, he better get it down below the knees. Now time is barked out by the home plate umpire. One out, nobody on. One and one to Schwarber. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Count is one and two now. Now the pitch. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. And that's the second out. At the plate, Nico Horner. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. Now here it comes. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Big swing at the knuckle curve. Gets nothing but air. 0-2 now. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. Oh, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye. 1-2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. He'll try again, one, two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Martinez ranging into the outfield. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Digging in, Yandy Diaz. He was a ground out victim Arizona. last time up. The third baseman, number two. Here it comes. Yandy Diaz. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now Striding in, Stephen Vogt. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. First delivery to him on the way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Swing and a liner. And that's a fair ball heading out toward the 353 sign on the Ivy. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Now batter, the left fielder, Manuel. Stepping Margot. in now, Manuel Margot as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. So far, two for three in this one. Even one and one count to Margot. From the stretch. Grounded to short. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Ready for another shot now. Tim LaCastro trying to add some padding to their lead in the form of that run standing out there at second base. A ball and no strikes. Two out here and a runner at second. And he fouls this one off. Now the one and one pitch. Taken strike two. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole a strike. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Lead and next will be the power-hitting catcher, the Wilson catcher. Contreras. Wilson. John Contreras. 
Yohan Lopez. If the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. First offering on its way. And that misses inside 1 0. Lopez typically throws a lot of strikes coming in out of the bullpen, resulting in low walk totals, although he has been snake bitten by the home run ball at times in the past. One of the keys for this guy, Matt, is not being afraid to tack the strike zone. With that said, he is prone to giving up the home runs. I think one of the cause of that, Matty V, he leaves a lot of pitches up in the strike zone. He needs to be down in the zone when he's effective. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hard on the ground toward short. Throw to first is in time for the first down. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Hap. A hit in two tries so far. And a big pitch coming here late, so he'll step out and ask for time. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. In it's a ball and a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. To two balls and two strikes now. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw on to first gets him, and that means the Cubs are down to their final out now. Now batter. So in the now for Chicago, man. Chris Bryant. Bryant. He comes to the plate as Bryant. the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what is he doing? He shows up. Rookie of the year. MVP. I mean, get in line. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And this will kick off the base of the wall. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. Now batting. Good stop. Javier. Baez. Here's Javier Baez. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. And he'll put this one away, and with that, the ball game is over. Wow, that's eight wins in a row, and it seems like they can't do anything wrong. When you're riding a streak like this, you eat the same food, you drive the ball.